Hey everyone, thanks so much everyone because there's like 500 people watching this. Oh my gosh, hello and welcome to my channel. My name's Justine and um, I'm doing another journal entry. Funny about that because that's what I do. Um, and this one is a little entry about a movie that my husband took my daughter to, or our daughter, <laughs> we do share her, <laughs> um, to see called The Jungle Book and um, it was a 3D movie so I have drawn my favourite little uh, kawaii uh, buddy friend here, Malang. Um, I have talked before my love of kawaii characters and he's my favourite. He's my number one actually. But don't tell anybody. Don't tell the other ones because they might get jealous. Anyway, <laughs> um, so... I found this picture of him with 3D glasses on and, and eating popcorn. I was just like, it's got to go on my page straight away. So I thought it was perfect. So I've outlined him and I'm now filling him in with some Windsor and Newton watercolours. This is the pan set. Um, this is, oh gosh, I love them. Watercolour is fast becoming probably my favourite. One, oh, that's a big call. One of my favourite um, painting mediums. I can't get enough of them. I just want all the different, all the different sort of types. So I've actually just brought some watercolours in the tubes. <laughs> so I've gone from, you know, cheaper ones to the Windsor & Newton pans to now the tubes. And yeah, it's never going to end. I can, I'm going to have a um, a massive cupboard full of watercolour, different watercolour styles. So um, filling him in here and what I do, oh, the ticket, that ticket stub, you're going to find out at the end of this, the epic fail that I, I did involving a heat gun and that ticket stub. <laughs> oh, it's just like, seriously, I nearly fell off my chair when I, when it happened, but we moved on. He had to move on. It wasn't ruined. It was just very badly um, ruined. <laughs> Let's face it, it ruined it. So I'm just going through some ephemera here. I do hoard. Yes, I hoard a lot, but um, I do use them. This is proof that I used one thing out of my dear Lizzie fine and dandy ephemera. <laughs> And, um, yeah, I hoard lots of stuff. I can't help it. It's all so nice. I'm scared to use it all up. But I'm learning. I'm getting there because there's no point in sitting there. It's just collecting dust, kind of. Um, and I'm actually starting to feel a little bit more like it's too pretty not to use. So I'm turning it around. But um, so when I saw this ticket, I thought it fitted perfectly with um, with the page. For the title, I actually um, decided to do the title the same as the movie as it was advertised because it was awesome font and I thought, well, I'll give that a go and really stick with the theme of, of what the movie was, what the movie was, you know, what the movie is <laughs> um, and just do my title the same as, as that. So I um, ended up sort of messing up the beginning of it which you're about to see now which I use the the artist brush what is it, the Faber Castell Pit artist pen but it was the big brush and it ended up being too thick um, and I tried to fix it and then I just made it worse so <laughs> I moved on then went back to it trying to fix it again um, and you'll see I end up just kind of backing it and scribbling it out and covering it up because that's the great thing about what we do in this form of of journaling or any kind of sort of art journaling if you don't like something you just change it and cover it up great for the perfectionists out there I used to be quite perfectionist but I've got so much better now um learning how to just move on and not crying a river <laughs> over um mistakes and you know I used to be on those people that would you know try and write something and then if it wasn't perfect I'd screw the whole page up and start again that doesn't happen anymore I do what I'm doing now I just stick things over it 
and no one would know. I often think, gosh, I wonder if my daughter ever pulled these books apart in years to come and <laughs> see all my mistakes underneath things. If she does that, I'll turn over in my grave one day. But anyway, I'm totally digressing. So I went through, it did actually smudge a bit when I, I had the actual pen I used. I think you needed to wait a little bit longer for it to um, dry. But hey, I moved on. <laughs> Doesn't have to be perfect. So adding some little word stickers, you know, the little word stickers that we can never live without. Date stamps, can never live without. I do list everything that I use down below in the description. I'm very much someone that likes to know what people are using. Um, I don't necessarily need you to find it for me, but I at least need to know what it is so I can find it if I really like it. So I do put everything below. Down to the pens I'm using, the brushes, the book, the stamps, everything. So, so we're coming up um, to nearly the end. I put a little bit more decoration on it and then I start my journaling and then I do come in um, in a minute with some um, gelato just to sort of give the page a bit of colour and then the disaster happens. So I won't, I won't um, talk through the disaster. I don't think I can. <laughs> oh, I'm just kidding. Um, but you will see... The, the moral of the story is you cannot add heat. I used a heat gun to dry off when I used the gelato on the page and it kind of burnt or scorched the movie ticket. But you'll see that soon. So I'm going to leave you to see the rest and thank you very much for watching. Everything's below and um, please subscribe and like this video. I don't know why we have to say that, but everyone else does. <laughs> but um, it's nice to know if you like it, I guess. And if you want to see some more, subscribe. And I'll annoy you every Thursday with a new video. Because that's what I do. <laughs> All right. Thanks so much, guys. Bye.